Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, it's going to be a guide on all the hero points in Auric Basin. And if you're looking for a specific one, just check the description down there. I got all the timestamps to each one. And first up is going to be the Mushroom King, which is just south of Wanderer's Waypoint. Real easy to get to, just drop on down. Uh, it's going to spawn the one champion. Could be soloable, but you gotta know what you're doing. It's always safer with a buddy. But that's it, right there. All right, next up is the bacon eating one, which is just a little bit further south. I'm not even gonna go from the waypoint. I'm just gonna walk from right here. And this one is definitely soloable. That's all you can do. You just got to eat the little bacon, and it takes a, a percentage of your health away every second or so and the trick is just to use your healing skill, skill after you take the first five ticks of damage and from there on out just use your heal every time it gets off cooldown you'll get it every time all right do? now we're grabbing the one up here in burnisher quarry and there are two ways to get here uh, you can either come from north watch right here straight up the path and you make this little gap there's a ley line so you will need ley line gliding and the other trick is to use the new hawk wallows which is what we're going to do so we're coming from wanderers waypoint up here and I'm gonna go ahead and drop on down to find that wallow basically once you use the wallow or the ley line it's going to put you just about the same spot and from there on out you just kind of got to take the walk, take a little hike and get to the hero point. It is soloable, it's just a simple commune, nothing to worry about. Come up into here, and then you're gonna take your first left around this big dude. And then take another slight left, pretty much just going straight. And you're gonna glide across, hit this little updraft. Hop on through these rocks. And here we are! Burnish your quarry. All right, now we're grabbing this little guy right here, just southeast of Northwatch Waypoint. Sure, everyone's found this one by now. It's not hidden at all. It spawns a champion arrowhead, so it's not going to be soloable. It's a pretty tough dude, but here we are. All right, next up is the one over here northeast of East Watch Waypoint. I uh, just gotta hop up some little, whatever these are, fungi pads. And this hero point spawns a champion with a couple guards. There's also a few veterans around, so you're gonna need a couple people. Right around the corner. Notice two trespassers. That's it. Alrighty, we are back here at East Watch Waypoint, and we are going to be heading south down and grabbing this guy. This one is not soloable. Spawns the champion. And there's a few little bomber dudes in there. So you're gonna need a little bit of help. Just 
Come on through there. And there's usually lots of mayhem going on over here, but I'm gonna skip right through it. Hit this mushroom. And then follow the path up and into the little cave. And meet the vine tooth. So here it is. Alright, now we're down here at the Chakalo Waypoint. We're gonna grab this hero point right here. All I gotta do is run south. And climb up through here. A couple jumps, a couple jumps, and you're into the cave where the battle begins. You will need a couple players with you. This one is a little difficult, but that's it. Now then, over at Westwatch Waypoint, we are going to be heading south and grabbing the Golem Hero Point. Along the way down there, there are quite a few raptors, little pocket raptors, some tricky little guys. It's definitely smarter to take this higher route down there. I feel like there's less mobs. And in order to get to this hero point, you're going to need bouncing mushrooms and some lean techniques in order to make some of these jumps and glides. And yeah, once you get to the hero point, uh, it is a veteran. Uh, it can be tricky though, if you know what you're doing, you could solo it, but. It's always better with a buddy. So you're gonna head south until you see these little stairs and these mushrooms. And that is where our adventure begins. Just take these three mushrooms up. And then walk around around this big tree on your left and you're going to hop on these rocks in order to climb up the tree and just hop up right about here and now you're aiming for this little branch you will need lean techniques to make it if you land down here, it's not good enough. You gotta hit up here so you can walk up a little bit higher. And now, we are going to glide over and we're aiming for this. The edge of that big old branch. Actually, I told you wrong. <laughs> this is the branch we're aiming for. And you will need lean techniques to make that as well. And once you're up here, you're gonna head on down. Into the darkness. And here we are, the ancient golem part. And now we're down here at Southwatch Waypoint, and we are heading in to check out Balthazar. For this one, you will need exalted markings in order to get in there, unless you have a Mesmer who can port you in. And the hero point itself, if Balthazar is up, then you will need a few people with you because he is very difficult um, but if someone has recently defeated him then you are lucky because you can just walk right in and commune with the uh, hero point with nothing, no enemies to worry about so 
so it's always nice to get lucky. And there he is. And if you do happen to get in here, you're gonna need bouncing mushrooms because at certain points during the fight, he burns everything on the ground. So you will need to get up here to be safe. But that's it. Now then, coming from North Watch Waypoint, we are going to be grabbing this right easternmost hero point in the city. This one is just a simple commune. You just kind of got to glide out to it from the North Watch. Just head on down these stairs and just jump off right here to your left a little ways. And it's going to be right here on this little pillar. There she is. So that's it. Simple commune. Alrighty guys, final one down here in the city. And we're coming from the Forgotten City Waypoint. In order to get this one, your map will have needed to finish the Octavine meta event. But all you're going to do is drop down that hole, glide north, and turn left, and here we are. It, you do just have to kill the one champion, but it's not that difficult. It could be done solo. But that's all of them. Hopefully you got them all. Subscribe for more guides. And we'll see you around. Good luck.